This is our Wednesday night channeling number 137. And the title is Resurrection. And it's, some, it's someone different that we haven't had before, I don't think. I am the resurrection and the life of all life. I am one of the firstborn of the universe. I hold the life of all life in the heart of my being through the power of love that was bestowed upon me from the Father of all creation. The creation comes down from God. The resurrection is handed down from the this self, the firstborn, period. God's love is the power of creation. It is also the power of resurrection. The resurrection is handed down to the, lo to the lowest and quickly return to the highest. Moving through the power of generation of many higher vibrational souls. The power of creation and recreation brings resurrection. Some of you have been uh, repeating the suggestion, I am the resurrection and the life in this body. If you wish to bring it a step higher, use the suggestion, I am the resurrection and the life of this being. This brings the suggestion from the physical body to the total being that you are, resonating through the whole of life in all creation that you are. Your affirmations and suggestions are sounded through the, if sounded through the heart of divine love, carry great power out to all life everywhere present in the all creation. It is then returned with the power that only those who have reached the realization of their godhood can contain and given to the next level down and so on until it is returned to its origin. As you reach the level of divine understanding then are you able to sound these affirmations with the full power they deserve. Learn to live these affirmations, and you are then awakened to enlightenment that is a step upon the road to becoming a master. These are the affirmations used in the meditation class that's going on at this time. I am joy, I am peace, I am strength, I am power, I am healing power, I am love, I am the resurrection and the life in this being, I am God. Oh, I hope. Bound. Yeah, I mean, like, I'll wait for them. Good evening, my dear ones. This is Gidon coming to you from these realms of love and light, your doorkeeper. I am with you each Wednesday night, and sometimes I teach the lesson and sometimes others teach the lesson, but I am always here, and what I mean by the doorkeeper is that I am responsible to open the door from your realms of illusion and confusion 
through the realms of darkness and dimness to the realms of love and light. It is my responsibility, and I accept it gladly. We have a very high soul, divine being, that has come to speak with you tonight. He very rarely comes to this level, but he has consented, and I will give the class over to him. God bless you, my dear ones. It is good to see you and to know you. It is good to be with you. And if I falter a little in this new experience for me, please forgive me. It is a great thing to understand the reality of your being, the real self that you are, eliminating the body and the mind and going straight to the soul that you are. It is in the soul the image and likeness of God that you live and move and have being. And your mind and body, you have been told, are tools that you use to reach these lower dimensions. We feel that the more information that you have, the more understanding that you have, the more you can bring into your consciousness and raise it more quickly so that you can be a part of this new age on your planet. That is a marvelous thing coming to be in the next 2,000 years. You may live that long in, the, in your body, or you may reincarnate, or you may work from this side. But the earth that you live on, the planet that you live upon, is in a state of acceleration. It is in a state of very rapid acceleration relative to your past. There have been many new ages come and gone on your planet. And every new age, there are a few more who escape the clutches of the lower dimensions and move up higher in these realms of love and light. You go through all the experiences on this plane, and then you move up to the astral plane and learn there and move on up to the mental realms and so on up to pure beingness, pure spirit. The level that you are on now is a schoolroom only, as you have been told. And as you learn your lessons, then you may not have to reincarnate or you may need to, to round out the understanding that you need to exist on these higher vibrational realms. When you are vibrating at a certain level as the earth plane, and you have been in touch with it for many lifetimes, then it is very different when you move up to another realm to live on for a while. It is like a completely different, what shall I say, in other words, you do not have the cumbersome, heavy body that you have now. You have no gravity, and but you have being, and you have understanding. When you have completed your schooling on this realm, 
then you will be ready for greater understanding. And the greater understanding will come without language, without words. And this will help you to move along a lot faster. In your lessons that you have come to learn on this physical plane, you learn through language and through words, and they are very confining. They are very limited relative to these higher dimensions of divine love and light. I have come because the Father has asked me to come to some of the groups as yours around this planet and a few other planets. And I have responded in love that I would be happy to do this. There are many, many things that you have not experienced as yet and have no conception of. And I am sometimes at a loss as to how to speak to you and what to say to you. Um, your growth, your spiritual growth, should be put first in your priorities and give it value of first priority. Let nothing else stand in your way. Let no one else stand in your way of your soul's growth. You few who have come and those who are not here tonight are moving forward and there are many other small groups around your planet that I will visit and learn their language and speak to them. It, it is given to me to learn the language very quickly, although I have, in speaking as I am to you, uh, and just uh, not completely taking over this entity's uh, full self, I have to use his language and the way he uses the phrases that he uses it so that I can come through to you. In other um, channels where the full body is taken over, then it is much more rapidly coming and I can speak to you to the group with greater ease. Let us pause for a moment and let me ask you to send God's love into this circle of light and into this entity, this channel, and into yourself. He forgot to have a quiet time before we started. Now let us have our quiet time at this moment and build up the vibrations so it will make it easier. Let us go within and see this self that is talking to you through this channel in the middle, in the midst of this circle as a great column of light, pure spiritual light, and see a beam of light coming out to each one of you and touching your consciousness, touching your soul with God's love. Thank you, Father. As we continue, I would like to try to paint you a word picture, as one of your teachers have said, of the higher dimensions that are very close to the Father himself. 
these are dimensions that the entities do not need form. They are individuals, and they maintain their identity and their individuality with the Father. But we are all known to each other, and it is like a network of spiritual work that we do and do it happily and gladly. There are many, many things that I cannot bring down into your language, but it is a beautiful realm of harmony and bliss, and we feel the radiations of the Father's love continually. You too can bring this down to yourself, and as you are sending God's love, um, be more concentrated in what you are doing, and think of it and picture it as it goes out to where you send it. When you go through your day and your busiest time of day, some of you do send love, and this is good. But when you sit down to have a quiet time and to send God's love, be more concentrated and let this power flow through you, this great power that is the greatest power in the universe. And you are very privileged to know about this and to be able to send God's love to all those in need. Send God's love to the whole universe and to your planet and to the new age that is coming up that you are in now and are evolving up to a self-illuminating star. Send love to the planet and send healing. Ask for God's healing power for the planet where it has been polluted and in the days to come your um, your neighbors and the ones who inhabit this planet will gradually learn to live in peace and harmony if you make it difficult on yourself, then there will be cataclysms that, is, that are not necessary if you can learn to live together in peace and in love. This is begins with the individual, and then it works up to the community and to the state and to the countries. Send love often to the leaders of your countries, of the countries all over the world, to those who are responsible and to those who are responsible for bringing harmony with other countries. There are many politicians, as you call them, and a few statesmen. And the politicians are there for selfish reasons. You have heard this and discussed it among yourselves. And continue to send love to all the leaders and to all those involved with the leaders, to all those who have anything to do with your government and all other countries and their government. This will help to speed up the time of those who will come in to run for office, not just to make money, but to, for the benefit of all mankind. There is a larger plan 
that I can speak to you about a little bit. And this larger plan includes the leaders changing just as you have seen the Soviet leader change. And this has brought about uh, a trend that will, in time, bring all of your countries together and have one government for the world, for the planet. The forces of darkness, and in true reality, there are no forces of darkness. It is just ignorance. But those who are in, influenced through lack of understanding, not knowing who they truly are, such as the leader who is causing problems now, these <clears throat> will eliminate themselves and will not be able to incarnate on your planet. But it may be a few hundred years. But be patient about this, knowing that it is important that everyone find their niche in life and that it is the Father's will that those of lower vibration have their time now to change. And there are many more than you know who are changing and making it about faith and turning to love instead of hate and anger and fear. This is their time, and their time will run out for this planet, and they will go to another planet where they can, where they can uh, go on with their evolution and uh, have a place to live and to be. As you notice, it is difficult to uh, channel through this being, and it is not his fault. It is that the vibrations are so different, and we have not channeled through this one, and it is a new thing to me. I pray that you will bear with me and help me and sending love into this channel and to myself to make it a smooth transition. Would you like to ask questions at this time? There are many, many questions that could be asked, and when you have an inquiring mind and you wish to know more about life and on your planet and in, on your plane you are limited very limited to understanding true real understanding you may know about it but you have to live it until you really know it you have to experience it and you are learning a great deal as you come to these classes, as you go to other places for understanding, and as you continue to take the time out of your day to be with God, whether it is your higher self, whether it is your teacher, or whether it is anyone, it still is of God. For my dear ones, all life is of God. There are beautiful, beautiful realms beyond your comprehension that lie ahead of you. And those who can finish their uh, learning on this plane in this incarnation 
can move up to this, these realms of beauty and greater understanding. And it, you do not have to go through the experience of death to do this, but most of you will have the experience of what you call death and leave this plane and manifest on other dimensions until you learn all you need to learn on this planet and then you can move upward. It is difficult to describe you, to you the difference between your plane and these higher planes of love and light because there are no words except a few. It is a feeling of complete freedom, a feeling of knowing, a feeling of belonging, a feeling of being in harmony with everyone around you. There are no uh, ill-begotten uh, thoughts uh, toward anyone from the plane that I come from. We are all in harmony with God and God's love. And as you move upward towards these realms, you will learn to do this. But as your teachers have told you, and I will remind you again, first learn to be in harmony with yourself. Learn to love yourself. For my dear one, you are God incarnate, whether you know it or not. You are God incarnate. All are God incarnate. And those like you who have come to learn and to grow, who have turned their back in a sense on the world and the illusions of the world, but still have to function in it. You are the ones who will be free of this plane in a short time. And it is different for everyone. I cannot even say when it will be for you because you have the free will and you may decide to work towards your goal uh, rapidly, or you may decide to go slower, but you will reach the plane that I am on, and everyone will. Are there any questions this evening? Yes, I have a question. What is glad to have me in the Soviet Union? on the countries that were well, under the Soviet and Zogane. Uh, and now they're asking for liberty and they were to be free. How are they going to react? Or how and what they got into the knee where God was not allowed to name the, and to, to have the name of God and not and not no, no, no anybody. Yes. Oh, oh, what? Oh, how are they going? What are they going to do? They, they hand guides. They never know the English. They got it to have somebody for other sides and trying to, to, to give them money. Guys, uh, one of the things that will uh, happen in this is that there will be a few who will raise their vibrations quickly and become your, the spiritual leaders. But also, there will be many who will incarnate into those countries. There will be a struggle for a while. And your, the leader, Gorbachev, was upset when they all wanted their freedom at once. And it was not that he wanted to hold the power and control over them, he realized that 
they were not used to governing themselves and that they may suffer from the lack of food and how to bring it about. If this country will put aside its greed and selfishness and send those over who can help them to make plans and how to plant for their food, how to bring about the institutions of making clothing and so forth, and do it without expecting too much return. They can help very much. And everyone who is unemployed here, that number of people could be used in those countries who are breaking away and even in the Soviet country, they are still, they still do not know how to provide for themselves. And many of them are addicted to alcohol. And this will have to work itself out. And those of us who watch from these planes have to be patient just as you who see the news and what is happening have to be patient, but do continue to send love into these situations and into these individuals and send love into our government that we be unselfish to help them to start their factories that they need to plant the crops that they need and can be successful with and to share some of our machinery with them. We, you think of our country, the, your country here, as being in a crisis financially. In true reality, my dear ones, this is not true. This is part of the illusion that this plane has. But you are so used to uh, judging by how much money a person has or a country has that you do not see above and beyond this. If you could see it from the spiritual level, of giving without thought of return and giving with love, then would you be able to help these countries to govern themselves and to feed themselves. And this will bring about a one world government much quicker. And the one world government will be a very small government. For as your new age comes along, your leaders, more and more of your leaders, will be from these higher dimensions of divine love and light. And as the veil is rent asunder and the eyes, the eye of the entities, on your planet are open the inner eye to see and know we can make direct contact with you. At this time, it is uh, not possible but to a very few because it would be too frightening to most on your planet and they would not, we would not be able to help them. But this will come about this will come about that we can work with you side by side. You will see us, you will hear us in language, and you will know that we are just as real as you are. And by helping you to see the step right in front of you that you need to take 
to lift your consciousness and those thoughts that you need to eliminate to brighten your aura, then will everything be much easier. Until your planet eliminates wars, we cannot do this. Until your planet learns to govern its countries in a way that will eliminate wars, then can we start a new beginning that will be very helpful to everyone that dwells on this planet. You see, when uh, your Second World War, as you called it, and then a couple of more wars were come along, they were instrumental in bringing about a more of a unity with all the different countries. And even though it caused you pain and bloodshed, it did have, it has had a brighter side to it. Are there other questions, Ms. Eppel? The Russian people will not, the Russian government will not allow us to send tapes over there and they do not allow us to send books over there. And you need, they need, we all need to exchange ideas and weigh all people's ideas. This is correct. But this will be straightened out in a short time, my dear one. It will be, it will become a reality. Uh, they are turning loose of their old ways because they can plainly see that they don't work. And those who come to visit this country and other successful countries want what we have. And I am, join I am making myself a part of your country in saying that. But in wanting what you have in your countries and being able to progress instead of being oppressed, then will everything be better. You will see a difference, and the difference will come more quickly as the present conflict is straightened out. These people do not have any ideas of their own. They, they got to squash them. Uh, this lady that visited us never expressed one idea except answering other people's questions. She just, they just think. Yes, and that's what I say. The new generations coming up, the ones who are incarnating, incarnating now, will be of a higher order for the most part. And they will be able to have more of God's love and light and understanding to bring new things into these countries. Many, many are preparing to incarnate in these places that are needed for them. And some of them do not need to come back for karmic reason. They are coming just to serve and to help. This lady would go to the, the supermarkets and would close her eyes. It was as if she felt it was a, a, a wicked to look at the food that was displayed. Mm -hmm. This is all that she knew, you see. and But maybe her eyes were opened a little bit and her understanding after she returned. And others are coming over and the student exchange has helped a lot when they come and see what kind of country we have and go back and tell 
their uh, families and the ones that they know, this has helped to for the people to know that they can have a better life. And their new leader, Gorbachev, is a plant, and his um, his work that he is doing now has been planned for some time, as you think of in terms of time, and it has come about, and things, the wall has come down, and many other things are changing. But do be patient, because it takes time to change consciousness. You know this when you come, come to class and try to eliminate your negative thinking. You know that it takes time to eliminate it completely. And when people have lived one way for so long, through many generations, then they know no other way and will have to be taken by the hand and shown how to uh, improve the quality of their life. As this happens, then will they be much more open to spiritual understanding and they will be able to raise their consciousness to a much higher level. This lady said she felt that we were an extension of her family. And she just, yeah. no family she has except Berfola, the crippled son. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, she does have no relatives. There are many in your world like this. There are many who are starving in your world needlessly. But it is a lesson that your planet has to learn and believe this or not but when one suffers all suffer when one succeeds all succeed and when one raises their consciousness then all are lifted up just so much and so by doing your part where you live to the best of your ability and raising your consciousness and continuing to send God's love to all the places of need, then you are doing well and it is very helpful. Are there other questions? Yeah, with this, what you are explaining to us could be a fly to South America, to Latin America, to overcome the forward thing, the corruption, the, you know, the, the economic disaster that they had with the new human dignity going to people and they're, they're going to change all this, the country. In time, my dear one, we do have to be patient because they have lived this way for many, many generations, and they know of no other way. And even your uh, border friends, uh, Mexico, this is the way that they live, through bribery, and uh, this is the way that they get by. And you see, by living this way, they squelch new improvements. And when the leaders uh, hoard the money and the supplies, then the rest of the people do not have the opportunity for growth and understanding. And the best way to help them is to take the seeds, the machinery, and the people who are willing and go and help them to find a better way of life. Are there other questions this evening? 
Yes, I have a question. Well, these leaders that we, we were talking about tonight, are they going to be in all different areas there? Yes. Yes. Uh, each generation will improve, but it cannot be done overnight. And uh, even though it seemed like the Soviet thing was done overnight, it was a long time in planning. But when it came to a head, and you had the right individual there to stand up to the others, he prevailed. And there will be others who will do this. But continue to send your love, God's love, and take the time to care and to know other things that you might be able to do to help the individuals and the countries. And there's this unity that has come about through this war of threat. It has been a tremendous step forward. Yes. Much more than we've ever seen, has it not? This is true. And you see, it takes something drastic like this to move the people on the lower dimensions. It takes something drastic before they will take action and before they will come together and work together. Now that it has happened, they, there is just a few of the third world countries, as you call them, that are not working together with the, the most of the countries. But that will come about in time. The old leaders will graduate from this plane and new leaders will rise up. And we do all we can from this side and if you send us God's love to help us to work with this, but also send God's love to all the countries and the, all the entities on your planet, it is helpful. Do it several times a day and make it a pattern because it really does work, my dear one. God's love is the most powerful force in the universe. It is all wise and all powerful, but it cannot interfere with the individual's free will. But there are ways that they, these individuals can be helped and to show them and help them to understand when we have the power of God's love to work with and then when they see the light, or they come into a greater understanding, then can they change? Then can they do different things to raise their consciousness and the consciousness of their country? This has been a very pleasant time for me to be with you and I think that we improved our contact and with your help and asking questions, we have made a better contact. And it is, I am grateful for this. There are many, many, my dear ones, who look after you. There are many from many dimensions who are watching over you. You as an individual and you as a whole on the planet. Realize this. Reach out for help. Ask for help. And you will get it. God bless you, my dear ones, each one. We love you dearly. Good night. Well, you come back to us and visit if I'd see you. Yes, perhaps. Can I hold hands? As they come together with holding hand, let us think of bringing down in time vibration to the physical plane. We have just been in contact with a very hot, beautiful being, 
and black racial uh, and are very tough on the come from the being pretty cold. Light of does it hard to sell. And we'll let it stand God club around this church building. Let it know that sit on this room and spread out over this city and cover this planet. Let us send God club to all those companies who are in need of greater understanding. And let us send an extra bummer and dog club to the leaders of those country. Thank you, Nixon. All right. So, like, I didn't know about uh, on the train. Very close. Who is the man? What a. It's. Been flying all the way around. See. How long? 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 How long